Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jerry. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on Adaptive Layout. In this video, we'll look at UI appearance and how to use the appearance proxy with trait collections to customize the look of things in your app by size class. Let's get started. Here's what the app will look like by the end of this video. We'll customize the navigation bar with UI appearance to have a different look between compact height and regular height. You may already be familiar with UI appearance and appearance proxies, but let's have a quick review. If you want to change the look of every instance of a view in your app, for example, to have all your buttons be a certain color, you could just set the color with every button you instantiate, or you could subclass UI button and set the color. But UI appearance provides a flexible alternative. UI appearance is a protocol implemented by classes for most visible objects, such as UI view and UI button. You use this protocol to get what's called an appearance proxy for a class. You then set properties on that proxy that you want to apply to all instances of the class. Then when instances are added to the view hierarchy, the properties from the appearance proxy are applied to that instance. This is really useful for setting a common style across the app. But what if that style needs to change based on size class? You can use the appearance proxy at the top level to apply to every instance of a class, and you can use an appearance proxy that's based on the view hierarchy. And now, with adaptive layout, you can use an appearance proxy that's based on trait collection, using the appearance for trait collection method. That means you can customize the appearance for a particular size class, or device idiom, which will really help with having one universal app that works across many devices. When you're dealing with appearance proxies, usually you want to set this up across the application and you want to set it up as soon as the application has launched. And so the natural place for that is here in the app delegate in application did finish launching with options. But we want our appearance code to be all together and separate. We don't really want it to be interspersed throughout the code of our app delegate. The app delegate can tend to bloat and get really big if you put all the code for startup for initializing your database and con communicating with the network and doing all your appearance proxy setup. And so we're gonna add a new file called appearance manager and we're gonna call it from this app delegate. I'll just do a new Swift file called appearance manager. Now we don't want to create an instance of appearance manager and we don't really need to because it's not storing any state. So we're going to create a class method on appearance manager to set up our appearance. And we'll fill this in in just a second, but first let's switch back to the app delegate and let's just call that setup method from here. So now when the application finishes launching, it'll call our setup appearance method, but the appearance manager, the appearance proxy code isn't interspersed throughout the rest of our app delegate code. Okay, so let's just set up a normal navbar appearance and we'll set a, a custom font. And we'll set the attributes on the title text. So the any title in any navigation bar across the app will have these attributes. Let's just make some more room for myself here. And we're just setting the attributes to create a uh, font. We're using the Avenir Next font with the size of 28. And so the title text for any navigation bar will have this font and size. And then just to make it really clear that that's changing, we're, we're using a red color here. And you can use whatever color fits the brand of your app. Now when your app is in a compact height environment, or the vertical size class is compact, the system will automatically change the navigation bar to have a smaller height. And so we want to set a different title text attribute, a different font size for that situation. And so we want an appearance, not just here we've got the overall appearance for the navigation bar, we want an appearance based on a trait collection. And so you can see that we now have some other options for appearance. 
We've always had this appearance and appearance when contained in, but now we have this appearance for trait collection and appearance for trait collection when contained in instances of class. We're going to use this appearance for trait collection. And we're just getting the appearance for any view that has a, a trait collection with a vertical size class of compact. And again, you probably wouldn't use an orange color and a red color. You'd probably use the same color, but just to make it really clear that it's changing, we we'll use the, the two different colors there. Okay, let's build and run and see what happens. So you can see we have this Avenir Next 28 point font in a uh, uh, normal regular vertical size class. And when we rotate, that changes to a 20 point Avenir Next to better fit the reduced size of the navigation bar. But watch what happens when we rotate back. It didn't change back to the red 28 point font. And I think this is a bug in the framework in my mind, this appearance, overall generic appearance, should be the same as appearance for an unspecified vertical size class, but it's not acting that way. Because we have a specific, a specified size class here, but no sort of unspecified version, then it doesn't change back when we rotate back. There's a couple ways you can fix this. I think the best way to fix this is to get the appearance for trait collection in the first instance as well. Now, you could use a vertical size class of normal here, and then it would be set in one way for normal and a different way for compact. But I think a better way to do this is to use unspecified here. Remember that when we're setting properties, we want to set them at the most generic level that we can. and if later we, we came and took out this appearance for trait collection compact, we would want this appearance to apply to both the normal and the compact vertical size class. And so by setting it unspecified here, that's really what it'll do. It'll handle both cases. And then we have a more specific case in the second set of code that handles the compact size class. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, so far so good. We've got red 28 point font in a normal vertical size class. When we rotate, it changes to the orange 20 point font. And now when we rotate back, we get what we wanted, which was that going back to that first appearance proxy. That's it for this video tutorial. And as always, we'd like to leave you with a challenge. Your challenge for this video is to continue the work we started with the navigation bar title and include the bar buttons and the scroll view background. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.